Well, you may be frustrated about what's going on. Business owners are too, and that's why the partnership is launching a new program to help them. Caitlin Knapp spoke to the owner of a Spokane restaurant about their struggles and how the partnership helps them keep their heads high. The purpose of these wellness calls is to see how businesses have been impacted up to this point. And with that information, DSP will look through new resources and strategies that business can use to stay afloat. It's the common sound and sight we've all grown accustomed to, especially for businesses like Baracho Tacos. I've got a beautiful patio sitting out there that doesn't have a single person on it right now. They've had to get creative since the stay at home order was put into place. Uh, we're putting together right now and excited to have our Cinco de Mayo kits, which are gonna come with uh, everything from a pinata to the margaritas to Mexican style loggers from River City. But this strong community is stepping up. Downtown Spokane Partnership has started wellness calls. We really want to get a sense of what they're experiencing and what their challenges are so that then we can then uh, go to work trying to figure out how to close that gap. Every downtown business will hear from DSP. We're doing everything we possibly can to make sure that they are conducting any business they can right now. They're safe and healthy so and then they're they're accessing uh, the resources hopefully to to get financial resources because we're going to get through this and it's important that people know that they have contacts uh, for help. Richard said it's not just about checking in on them and and then when when we do come back we come back strong and and uh, and and they're able to kind of right size their balance sheet and get back to a successful business operation. We're going to be ready to open back up and take care of people. One of the resources DSP is offering is called Ask an Expert. Businesses can go online and have their questions answered, whether it's about banking or marketing, and those answers will come out about every two weeks or so. Reporting in downtown Spokane, Caitlin Knapp, 4 News Now.